Hello, and um, welcome to this session when we're going to be talking about social media policies in the workplace. My name is Professor Cathy Daniels. I run my own consultancy, Cathy Daniels Consulting Limited, advising, writing, and talking about employment law and related human resource issues. So what are we going to do? We're going to start off by talking about social media from a number of different angles, thinking about how it's used in the workplace, how it's used in recruitment, and how it can be misused such that it damages the reputation of the organization and what action you might be able to take. And throughout this, we're going to be looking at cases that have actually gone to the courts, and we're going to be using those cases to illustrate the different points that we're making. One of the things that we will conclude with, which I will start with as well, is the importance of having a social media policy. What we will see through the cases we look at, most of the cases that we look at, are that the employer's actions were either lawful or unlawful, whether the employee actually knew that they could or they couldn't do certain things. So if you want to say to your employees, you can't post certain things on your personal social media sites because it might damage the employer's reputation or because we simply don't want you to do that, you can do that. But if you haven't told employees they can't do something and then they do whatever it is you don't want them to do, you can't penalize them. So social media policy, so important. And of course, it's not just writing the policy, it's making sure that your employees have seen it, they've read it, they've understood it. And so that involves potentially some element of training around this as well.